Simon Weston, you are that, that most hated of objects, a Manchester United <laughs> fan who's not actually from Manchester. Yeah, I'm a local fan, yeah, that's the one. So, so how did you become a United fan in Cardiff? Because growing up, Cardiff would have always... They were a big club, weren't they, in their own right? Well, I grew up in the valleys about 15 miles away, and um, so I didn't really know much about Cardiff, because I mean, TV was pretty ropey back then, and, uh, and as always has been, you know, the big teams always get on TV, and match of the day was always about big clubs, and uh, Cardiff were never on there, so it really didn't register, unless you were sort of had a father or something who was really into it, then it didn't really happen. Um, but there was a, an older lad in the back lanes. Who, I was brought up pretty much by my grandmother, because um, my uncle was 10 weeks older than me, so we were brought up like brothers. And um, there was an older kid called um, Mark Price, and he used to support Chelsea, and he used to hit all of us and say, you'll follow Chelsea and Chelsea are this. And we used to be scared of him, and I remember little George Best, as he, you know, he was little compared to a lot of the players, and he just, playing Chelsea and he was in the 60s and he, he ran around the Chelsea team from his own halfway line and he scored and I just from that moment on I felt that you know this kid couldn't touch me you know if George Best could do that and it was I was only about eight seven or eight something like that and I remember seeing it and from that moment on I was I was sold on Man U and it was down to George Best and and Lowe and Charlton and all of those guys um, and they'll never have a, any knowledge of the fact of of how much of an effect they had on my life, because I always believed I could do anything I wanted from that moment on. Um, and, and it was down to just a simple game of soccer, really, and not, not rugby, which it probably should have been coming from Wales. And there was always something magical about United. I mean, obviously, you know, for me, growing up, because City had a good side at the time, yeah. and I used to go to see both and followed, you know, followed both in a way when I was little, but there was something magical about United that you didn't get at City. Yeah, there's always been that mystique. I was talking to my father-in-law on the weekend, um, and he's a, he's a mad Evertonian. And he said, even as an Evertonian, he said, we always used to love to watch Man United play because they played the most attractive football. It was always attacking, there was always something, there was always goals with Man United and whatever they were concerned. And the ethos of Man United has always been, whatever manager they've had, you know, they, they've always attacked. And, and you listen to the crowd when it gets slightly boring or they, it looks like they're tentative about the opposition, the crowd just starts shouting attack attack, 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 and it just seems to change and, and there always is this sort of incredible belief at Old Trafford that they're going to win. They never think about losing, it's always, oh, it's going to be tough tonight, but they always believe they're going to, to win. So it's never if they win, it's when they win. And, and I've always loved that about them, you know, there's, and if you talk to special forces, that's the way they talk. You know, so it must be in the 